Melbournians felt the earth move today following a magnitude 5.9 earthquake that struck northeast Victoria this morning. In total, seven quakes struck with tremors felt across the state as well as in Canberra, Newcastle, Adelaide and Launceston. I'm now joined by geophysicist Professor Sandy Stacey from the University of Newcastle. Sandy, thanks for joining us. The earthquake in uh, Mansfield, Victoria, this morning has been reported as magnitude 5.9 with a depth of 10 kilometres, and we've already had six aftershocks. Uh, we'll be likely to have more aftershocks and tremors in the coming days? Uh, yes, we are. The number of aftershocks will probably decrease with time. So aftershock activity is an exponential, but unlike the exponentials that we're seeing with COVID where it's growing, this is one that decreases. So most of the aftershocks happen very close um, in time to the main earthquake, and then the number decreases with time. Now, Victorians certainly felt the earth move in Mel Melbourne. It, I felt it uh, very strongly. And a lot of us were just in shock because uh, you don't feel a quake that strong too often around these parts. Uh, if, if What should we do if there is actually another strong earthquake? Thankfully, there was not significant damage or any loss of life with this. Is it best to run to a door frame or go outside? What's what's the thing to do if you are if you feel the earth move? So the best thing to do is to stay inside until the shaking stops. And if you've seen some of the pictures where bricks have fallen down off buildings, that's why you don't run outside because you're likely to be hit by those bricks when they're falling. So what you want to do is you want to take cover inside, ideally under a table. Door frames aren't great because the problem is that the door might slam shut, either under your nose, break your finger, something like that. So get under a sturdy piece of furniture and wait till it stops. And is there a way to predict this sort of seismic activity? Is there any way to have any forewarning or is that something that's being developed down the track? Yeah, so, so to an earthquake scientist, prediction means a certain time and a magnitude. So, for example, next Tuesday at 2 o'clock, we'll have a magnitude 6. We can't do that and we'll never be able to do that. What we can do is, is understand seismic hazard. And so this earthquake actually occurred in an area of known seismic hazard in Australia. And we're getting better at looking at probabilistic seismic hazard. In other words, once an earthquake's happened, what is the likelihood of another earthquake occurring? Professor, this quake was felt in Victoria, particularly in Melbourne. The epicentre was in Mansfield. And it was felt as far as Newcastle. But people in Sydney weren't impacted. How, how does that happen? That's a little bit surprising to me, actually, uh, because Sydney obviously being slightly closer, be surprised if it wasn't felt there, but it might just be because there's more traffic there that people just figured it was traffic noise. <laughs> it could be. Sydney's too bustling and busy to worry yeah. about earthquakes. Uh, Professor, thank you so much for your time tonight. No worries. Thank you.